Once your slideshow is completely done, if you have extra time, you can add in animations. First of all, click on the Animations tab. If you go to this arrow and click it, you'll get different options for how to uh, transition from one slide to the next. If you hover over an option, it'll show you a preview. Fade smoothly, fade through black, cut, cut through black, dissolve, and so on. You can try all the different ones. Once you find one you like, click on it. Then you need to set some options. You want it to advance automatically so that it becomes like a slideshow. So you click off on mouse click. Then you need to think about how many seconds you want each slide to show for. You have to strike a balance because if it's too long, like maybe 15 seconds, it's going to be boring sitting there looking at one slide. But on the other hand, you have to be able to read the whole slide, all the information. So you need to really watch this. Once you've uh, made add the settings, you need to watch the show and see if you can actually read it during the time it takes for the slide to transition. I've watched mine a few times and settled on about seven seconds per slide. Over here, once you've made your decision, you're going to click on, oh, the, bleh. if you wanted to, you could make the transition part itself, the dissolve that I chose, can take longer if I want here. Once you've chosen what you want to have, then click apply to all. This is really important for consistency. It'll be fun to have each slide transition in a different way, but the problem is it's distracting and it really does take away from your show because people are focused on the transitions and not on what you've actually said in your information. So once you've chosen what you want, click apply to all, and then you need to make sure that you save. You can preview your show by going down the bottom here and find the um, slideshow icon or you can go to slideshow from beginning and then you can watch the show. So after seven seconds, that was my first transition. See if you can read this slide during the time. And so on. So that's how my show looks now. If you've finished your PowerPoint show and you've added in the transitions, then you're ready to add in music. First you have to decide what music you want to have and you need to make sure that you have it in one of three formats MP3, WAV, WMA. Once you have it in one of those three formats you can put it in your slideshow. Click insert, sound, from file, navigate to the folder where you uh, Save the music. When this window comes up, click automatically. And then the music tools should come up. If it doesn't come up, which seems like mine didn't. You can click on format. No. If it doesn't come up, which mine didn't, double click on the picture of. Um, sound file that comes up. And I'm going to move it over here. Double click and that brings up the sound tools.
starting over here you want to click hide during show click loop until stopped play across slides and then save it as with transitions you need to see how it sounds or how it looks together so play it And that's how to add in your music. Now that your show is ready, it's time to add transitions. Click on the Animations tab, and you can choose which kind of transition you'd like to have. If you click on this arrow, it gives you all kinds of options, and then if you just hover your mouse over an option, it'll show you a preview of what that kind of transition looks like. Open the options, then try them. White, fade and dissolve, etc. See which one you like the best. You can try all the different ones. Right. Once you've chosen one, click on that one, then over here where it talks about advancing the slide click off on mouse click click on automatically after and then decide how long you want each slide to be on think about how long it takes you to read what's on the slide and base your timing on that three seconds four five not too long because you don't want your show to be slow and boring but not too short because you do want people to be able to take in the information before the slide advances to the next. As a final step click apply to all and that way every slide will transition the same way. This is important for consistency even though it would be fun to have each slide transition in a different way, it becomes distracting and it really does take away from your show. So pick one that you like the best and then apply to all.